Hi, George here. And today we'll be looking at how to use the subject select tool. And that's right up here under select and subject right there. And that will allow us then to make a layer mask for the girl here and change the background. Let me just show that. There we go. Now there are a few problems with this particular image. And that's mostly because we have this bright background and she's wearing a white jacket or shirt. So the shirt here may disappear right there. And there's a bit of a shirt right down here may disappear into the background maybe over here on the left-hand side as well. The subject select tool is available in most later or more recent versions of Photoshop Elements. It's a great tool usually, but it's not perfect and it may need some tweaks and adjustments. So I'll show you how to do that in this video. Now, before we move on, let me just remind you that this channel and all of my Photoshop Elements videos are completely 100% fan supported. The reason I can make these videos is that fans help me keep this channel up here on YouTube. And there are a couple of things you can do to help me do that. The first one is right down there, bottom right hand corner, just below the video is a button that says thanks. You can click on that and then send me a little thanks, a couple of bucks, and that really does help keep this channel going. The next thing you can do is to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe. If I can get the channel up to 100,000 subscribers, I'm a long way off, so I still have to go about 30,000 subscribers. But if I can hit that 100,000, that puts me in a whole different level on YouTube and makes it much easier to keep the channel going. And finally, the main way that I fund this channel and fund my time to make all these videos is by sales of my training courses. If you haven't looked at my training courses recently, there's a link for that right down there in the description. And it really is the best way to learn how to use Photoshop elements. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at this. I'm just going to delete these two layers up here. Just get rid of those. And we'll go back to the original background layer. Now, whenever I work on a project, I always like to make a copy of the background. So just right click here, it says background and choose duplicate layer, choose okay, and I'll hide that one. That just gives me a safety just in case we mess things up. I'm not planning on it, but just in case things get messed up, I always have the original right down here saved right in the file. So it's really easy to get back to that. It's a very good habit to be in. Okay, using subject select is real easy. Go up to select, come down and click on subject, and then Photoshop elements will go in, find the subject, identify it, and make its selection. You can see here, it did a really nice job up around the hair up here. It got this side of the jacket, that's fine. It's okay down along over here. It came over and got the dog's leg right here and then the wrist, but it missed this sleeve and it also missed this part of that jacket right down there. So it missed those two things. Also, because the dog is kind of furry in here, it wouldn't be a bad idea to come in and use the refined edge along this edge where the dog is and also up along the hair. I like using refined edge for hair whenever I can. Most of your harder edges don't need it, but hair will frequently have some improvement with the refined edge. So we'll start off by just fixing these parts that are missing. I'll go over here to the zoom tool. You can zoom in, you can really see that now. There's the selection right in here. And then here's the part that was missed. Really easy to do, just grab a selection tool. I normally will use the polygonal lasso tool because it's more controllable. And I'll have my feathering set at zero in here. And then we want to add this in to our existing selection, which is over here. So come down and make sure this says add. If it's clicked on new and you click, it's going to lose your original selection. So go over here, make sure it says add and we're all set. And then come inside your selection. So here's our selection boundary. Come inside the selection, doesn't matter where, click in here and then go over that boundary and begin making your new selection here to add in. Then just take your time and follow along. It's a little hard to see sometimes in here because this is white on white. And it's the kind of thing that the subject select will miss. This also would be missed right by the refined edge. For instance, if I tried that here, it wouldn't see this edge. So there are times when you just have to come in and do things manually inside of Photoshop Elements. That's okay. Same thing even on the more advanced Photoshop program. It would have a hard time with this edge. So it's really a problem with the photograph, not with the software. And let's just work around here and right around like that. A little bit of a light edge there and into here and a little bit right down here that was missed. And notice I clicked too fast and it collapsed that selection and took this part and linked it up here, which means I'm missing this little bit. That's easy to fix. So I'll get this part down here first. Same thing, come into the selection and then click through here and then around and then in around and back to your starting point. There we go. And then up in here, this is just making a big loop around that part that was missed right here. And click again, and there it goes. 
Okay, I'll hold the space bar down and let's just push this image up. And there's this bit of the jacket or shirt actually right in here. Come inside the existing selection and then and work your way around here. And with a polygonal lasso tool, you click once and then you find your next spot and click, find your next spot and click. So it's very controllable. That's why I normally you will use this tool. And then come around, come in the selection again, and then back around to your starting point. And that brings that in. Okay, we now have the whole image selected, the whole subject selected. Again, hold the space bar down. I can move this around. And let's now use the refine edge just on the dog's fur over here. This right down here says refine edge. Click on that. I normally have mine set here for the overlay. I don't need much help in here on this, but I think I will bring my contrast up about halfway. Just anywhere around in here should be okay. That helps occasionally. You can see the brush size right there. That's fine. That's the default size. And then take your plus sign and keep it in the red area and then just overlap into what you want to have selected. And let's just work around the whole edge here of the fur. And that should give us a much better, much cleaner edge on that part. Again, hold the space bar down to move your image around. And we'll just catch all the edge here of the dog fur, which is that. Space bar again. And the top of the head up here, the ear and the head, there we go. This gives you a much cleaner edge right in there. Okay, now let's just, while we're here, go ahead and go around the edge of the girl's hair. This should help that out a little bit. It missed a bit right in here. Notice how that went red. So I'll change this over here to this tool. This is the refined edge to allow you to remove a refinement. So let's come in here, we'll paint that out. That fixes that. And then back to the brush tool. Space bar, sometimes you need to do that. Just kind of a back and forth of it. Catches too much, just use that and undo the refined edge and then bring it back in again. Okay, this is all looking good over here. I'll just finish up this side. Once the hair begins going straight, it doesn't really matter any longer. At that point, we're okay. But right down here, a little bit right in there. Now I'll output this to a selection. So we just have a selection in here. And let's go back here to fit screen. There we go. And you can now see that nice selection. is a bit right in here. That looks kind of weird. Everything else looks fine. Let's zoom in and see what happened over here. Sometimes the refine edge catches too much. Okay, just a little bit of a one hair, stray hair here. I think we're okay on that, but I'll go ahead and remove that just to clean things up. So let's grab our polygonal lasso tool. Change this to subtract. And I'll come in right here and just do just a little bit right like that and just take that one hair out of there. And that's better. And then back to fit screen again. And that should work. Okay, now all we need to do is just to bring in any picture you want in the background. So we now need to get a layer mask for this. And that's real easy at this point. Just go up here, there's a layer mask button right there. Click on that. That then converts that into a layer mask. Now, a little problem I've been seeing recently here in Photoshop Elements, at least in Windows 11, I didn't see it in Windows 10. It may be a Windows 11 only problem. Is that sometimes you don't see the image over here in the thumbnails. Easy to fix. All we have to do is just to save the file, close it and open it again. And we'll then see that. Let's go ahead and we'll do that right now. Go up here to file and save. I'll do a save as and put it into the right folder. That's where I'm doing this. Choose save. There we go. That's just where I keep all my working files. So that's now been saved. Let's close this down. Here's the background image that we'll be using. I'll just leave that in my bin. Come back to open recent files. Bring this file back up again. And dock that in place. There we go. And now we see that layer mask over here. So if you see the image disappearing on the thumbnails, just save your file, close it down, open it back up again, and you should see it again. And again, I've only been seeing this in Windows 11 recently, so it could be a temporary glitch that may go away on the next version. We'll just have to see how that goes. Okay, we have our transparent background. And over here on the photo bin, I have my new picture right here, except that I don't want to have this person in the middle. I can show you what the problem is here. I like this background, but I don't like that person. I'm just going to drag and drop the background layer over here into our new file. Let's do that. Let's get this out of the way. I'll take that layer, drag it underneath our subject layer here, change to the pointer tool, and I'll grab the control handle. If you don't see your control handles out here, just use the control and T keyboard shortcut to show those. We can then pull this out and make this fit. And I could then pick any spot I wanted to in here. That actually works right there. It's kind of nice with the tree. But once I get it over here a little bit, we begin to see this person. Let's look at this side. That side's also not too bad. So I might prefer using this spot over here. Or I think even the tree bit here might be real nice. It's kind of a nice shot. And that solves the whole problem with that person. 
But let's say that you don't want to do that. Hit the green check mark for our resize. There we go. Let's say you wanted to have this part of the picture used, which is what I did for my demo. I want to get rid of this person in here. Also very easy to do. Let us grab any of your lasso tools. The regular lasso tool works fine on this. Let's just make a quick lasso around this figure. Be kind of close to the edge, but not right against. That's fine. This doesn't have to be perfect by any means. You don't want to be right up against the figure. Just kind of a little ways out like this. And just move up around. There we go. Get this side over here. Back up to the top. Back to starting point. There we go. And go up here to edit. Come down to fill selection. Make sure you're set at content aware, which is right here in the middle. Choose OK. Then Photoshop elements come in and patch that for you. And that does a good job. Control D, keyboard shortcut, deletes that selection. And we bring our foreground subject in and there we go. But of course, as we just saw, there are some nicer things over here off the edge. But not gonna find any position I want without having to worry about his arm showing up in there. So I think just kind of like that is a nice spot for our picture. And there we go. That's how to use that subject select and a few additional steps to make your subject as great as possible. And don't forget if you want to help keep this channel going here on YouTube, Consider sending me a thanks, and that's that button bottom right-hand corner just below the video where it says thanks. Just click on that and send me a thanks. Make sure you subscribe. That really does help the channel a lot. And if you really want to learn how to use Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course for this program. And there's a link for that right down there in the description. And I'll see you next time.